so i got i actually ordered these a few weeks ago but they just came today i got some some silicone candle molds so i'm gonna make some little candles i wanted to order some of the you know the women's bodies candles that are going around now they're pretty popular some of them i was actually looking at were 50 pound and like that with a conversion rate to Canadian, it would probably be like $80. And I'm not about to spend that on a candle that it's just going to burn into nothing. Not to take away from the work. They're obviously expensive because a lot of work goes into them. I get that. So I decided to just like order some molds and try and make them myself. Because at least that way, I can light them and burn them. And then I won't be sad that it's burned away. So I ordered... This little one, which is a cute, I'll put like a picture here so you can see what it looks like because you can't really see it in the mold. But it's kind of like a little bubble candle. I thought it was really cute. I got this one, which is like a little small, um, kind of like yarn of wool, you know, thick wool. I think that's kind of what this one is supposed to look like. And then I got the women's body one. It's actually smaller. I thought it was going to be the bigger one, but that's okay. We'll give it a go anyway and see. So that's what this is. Um, so they literally just came today. So I'm going to go over to Michael's now and get some candle wax. I obviously need candle wax. I need, I literally need everything to make a candle. The only thing I have are the molds. Okay, so I got this soy wax. It says it's microwavable soy wax. I don't have a microwave, so I'm just gonna do it, melt it in a pot. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but they're just little fla little flakes. I got some wicks. I found this scent, it's a dried linens. I don't know, I thought it could be nice. And I also got um, some color, and this is a caramel color. I thought it would be cool to do different tones, but I'm not gonna do it first time around because I want to see how to actually make a candle first. So I have already put wicks in this and in this one. So I'm going to show you how I did it in this. So I don't know if this is the correct way, but I saw somebody do something like this online. So we'll see if it works. So this one, they didn't come with any holes in them. So I'm going to make a tiny little hole here in the middle. So I just have this metal skewer. So I'm just going to try and get the middle. And just wiggle that a little bit because you only want like a tiny tiny hole okay so I've made a little hole right here so now I'm just gonna put the thread this through I have this little needle this little plastic needle that worked absolutely perfectly so all I did was just put the needle in And I'm just going to leave about that much just so I have a bit of room. And that's it. So I'm just going to leave about this much so I can wrap this up in a skewer and hold it straight. So I'm just melting this um, to like 185 degrees I think it said. So yeah, we will just see what happens. <laughs> So it needs to be at 185. That's the correct temperature for the soy wax. So it needs to just get a little bit hotter.
So it's Tuesday, it is piss and rain, and it's supposed to lash all day long. So I'm gonna head out now. It's like eight o'clock. I'm gonna head out. I need to just quickly grab some food stuff for today. I'm gonna make a nice veggie stew. Perfect day for a veggie stew. And then I'm gonna go to Costco, grab my flowers. You know we're all about the flowers. So I wanna get a nice new bunch of flowers and then come home to a nice warm apartment because it is so gray and gross outside. even explain how gross the weather is right now like it's pissing down so I'm so bundled up um ew. I have my camera held up with the fruit bowl right now because it's falling apart the little flip screen a screw came loose on one side so it's falling apart so that's fun <laughs> I'm so glad I got all that done this morning because ugh, I don't want to go back out there today. Um, so I got my flowers in Costco. I also got the this green tea. Honestly, it's the nicest green tea ever. People always ask me to do like a little grocery haul anytime I post about it. So let's do it. I didn't really do like, this isn't like a proper shop. I just needed to pick up a couple of things. So I'll show you what I picked up. I got some nice fresh bread. Nice fresh bread. Oh, okay, honestly, <laughs> I treated myself way too hard today, but I bought myself an apple pie. This is the nicest. It's made with Honeycrisp apples. <gasps> so good. The place where I get my food, they usually have like full pies, half pies, or like quarter pies. So Garfield's down. So I usually will buy, Nosy Nelly is in here to inspect everything down, please. <laughs> here are you, you little nosy fella. Yeah, usually they do, like, so usually I'll buy, like, maybe a quarter, and then I have, like, two slices out of it, but <laughs> sometimes you just have to treat yourself to the whole pie, so that's what I did today. I got apples, I got some avocados, hello, nosy number two, I got some lemons, some more lemons, a zucchini, a broccoli, I got some celery, uh, another apple. Ooh, kombucha. This is my favorite kombucha. It's this mango flavor. It's called Bucha Brew. It's actually made here in Vancouver. Mmm, it's so good. I don't like drink fizzy drinks. The only thing I really drink is like tea and water. So I like to treat myself to some kombucha. So I'm gonna make some pizzas this week. So I got some yeast for my pizzas. And I got some I treated myself twice, I got some bickies. So these are some nice bickies. I like to have just bickies in the press, so whenever I want. A bicky with a cup of tea, there's always one there. problems uh, uh, uh. you're a very cute little pussycat okay so this one has like some like little cracks or little holes I'm not quite sure exactly what they're from but we will find out but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and pop these out now and see. Not bad for my first candle. 
there are a few imperfections like in here so I'll have to figure out what that what was the cause of that these are kind of flat maybe next time I'll have to put it like somewhere uh, see how flat they are I wanted them to be more bubbly but not bad for my first one Oh, this one's really cute. That one worked out pretty well. Now I feel like this woman one is gonna be hard to get out. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get her out. Ooh, there's a little butt. There's a little booty. Oh, here we go. Oh shit, a bit broke off her arm. Ah. Okay, so it should have. It should have looked like this. Maybe if I could just heat the wax and stick it back on. Maybe I'll try that. I am impressed for my first time of making candles. They came out pretty cute. I'm gonna make my favorite veggie soup stew. I don't really know what the difference is, but um, I thought I would just show you quickly how I make it. So I have some onion here and some garlic. Uh, my garlic looks weird because it was uh, in the freezer, so <laughs> that's why it looks like that. I have celery, carrot, which I probably have a lot, maybe too much carrot, but I end up eating half of it while I'm cooking anyway, so it'll probably be half that by the time I get to it. And then I have zucchini here, sweet corn, I have potatoes here which I'm going to chop up. So I like to chop everything up really small like this. I have some frozen spinach which I might chop up and put in because I usually have green beans but I, I ran out of green beans. So I might chop up some spinach and throw it in because, you know, it's good for you and all that stuff. So that's pretty much all that I use and I'm going to show you how I make it. Hello again. It was a couple of days I didn't vlog the last two days because I was I was actually doing a lot of filming, um, editing, computer stuff, just a lot of behind the scenes type of work. So I didn't vlog on top of that because sometimes it's just all too much pressure then to try and get everything done. So I just said oh, I'm not going to vlog for the next few days. Um, but today is Friday and I want to organize some of my makeup drawers because they are a little bit messy and i feel like some of the products are a little bit dried up so i could probably get rid of a good chunk of stuff i thought we could do it together but i have all my alex drawers in like this double wardrobe here in this room so it's great i can close the doors and then i don't have to see any of the fucking the presses or any of the mess i just hate all that clutter it's just it's a lot it's too much to look at so with it being in here it's great 
So this top drawer is actually not that bad. This is mostly just loose pigments. I have some like Colourpop shadows here, some MAC shadows. So just different shadows and pigments. So like I don't really need to kind of do anything in here. So I'm just going to leave that as is. And then in the next one, this one could do a tidy up. So in this one I keep my glitters and my cream shadows, my cream glittery shadows. Um, all in here. I have more glitters here and then more like paste glitters, the cake liners, that type of stuff, which as you can see has gotten a bit messy. So let's organize this one. Okay, so I have most of this done. These little dividers, um, by the way, are from Daiso. If you're unfamiliar with that, they are like a Japanese dollar store. So in here I have um, like just some cream shadows, some, these ones here are some hourglass pressed pigments. Um, again, same in here, cream shadows, some MAC paint pots, um, and then some other pressed pigments, Marc Jacobs and other little ones in there. We have glitters here. These ones are from MAC, I just have them in the little sample pots. Um, other MAC ones from different Christmas collections. I have lots of NYX glitters, NYX, and then all underneath here I have all the Anastasia Beverly Hills glitters. Um, here are more different types of glitters. I have some of the Colourpop gel glitters, just sitting on top here. Um, and then in here I have gel liners. So I have ones from Melt, ones from Cafondi, these ones are from Tarte. I have some of these glitter gels from Urban Decay that I'm just going to put in on top of this. Because I only have so much space, so they can go in here. And then just some of these little cake liners, I'll put them on top here. So, that is one drawer done. Okay, so in here, I have lots of, um, what would you call these, like the liquid shadows, liquid glitters back here, um, different types of liquid shadows. Here I have like the Fenty compacts and then obviously the new Melt Cosmetics ones I have here too. Oh this fella belongs here. I think most of these are dried up unfortunately. The Stila liquid glitters which you know I love. I've used them quite a lot in my tutorials. More so in my older tutorials but um, I do really like these but I went to use one yesterday and it was all dried out so I need to go through all of these and see what's dried out and what's not, and then just get rid of whatever is dried up. So let's see. Yeah, see, all dried out now. Aw. Okay, so that's what I'll be doing with most of these. That's such a shame. These are probably like two, probably three years old. So I guess they have served their purpose. Ooh, we have a live one. I have these Dazzle shadows from MAC. So they're just um, similar to the Steeler. They're just like a liquid shadow. So I have all them in here together. Um, and then the Steeler ones here. Okay, so all of these are fine. So I'm just going to put them back in there. Okay, so I have all my Huda Beauty ones here at the back and then my House Lab ones. Then I made some space here for the other Fenty um, compacts along with the Melt Cosmetics ones. And then here I just have other like random little eye bases just sitting in there nice and neat. Okay, so what I have here, I have some primers here, some little extra skincare here at the back. And uh, wipes, some face masks, keep my strobe creams and any little glow products here. I have some serums and then some lip products. I don't really need this drawer because I already have my skincare drawer in the bathroom. But I'm too lazy to like go and like redo a whole drawer so it can just stay this way for now. <laughs> so I have foundations here contour sticks and then concealers and then here i just have some like um powder mineralized foundation so that looks a whole lot better right now 